panda. Yeah. I got brides in Atlanta. <laughs> she took the lead in the family. <laughs> Credit cards in the scammers. <laughs> Getting the licks in the band. Legacy. All right, coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight showdown. So here he is, one of the better offensive takedown guys we have in the UFC DC. And if anyone is well equipped to speak to this, it is you. The opponent knows what's coming. At least to this point in the UFC, no one's been able to stop him. He just has to keep him away. Because the moment this guy gets close enough to either grab a leg or make body contact, right. now you're in trouble. He has a knowledge and an understanding of position from a lifetime of just all grappling, judo, wrestling, uh, Sample. He does it all, and he has just so many ways to get you to the floor. This guy once told me that if he can get your leg, he's going to finish. Right. Because he's going to give you so many things to think about, you will not be able to process and keep up with him, and eventually you're on the mat. It's unbelievable to watch him apply that knowledge to the mixed martial arts fight. And as the wrestlers say, this is not a guy you want anywhere near your bracket. No, you don't want him in the bracket. Well, this is exciting here, DC. The founder of Jeet Kune Do, one of the founding fathers, really, of mixed martial arts. Bruce Lee is back in a big spot here tonight. Bruce Lee is what every kid looked to when they thought about doing karate. Bruce Lee is the person that anyone looked at when they said, I want to be a fighter. It was the speed. It was the charisma. It was the approach of Bruce Lee that made him so special. And tonight, he's going to look to show a new generation of fighters exactly how it's supposed to be done. And if you hear the phrase, drillers make killers, right? I mean, that was Bruce Lee in a nutshell. He felt like practice yes. would make yes. perfect. Nobody trained as hard as the great Bruce Lee. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight fight, more than five years apart, with some differences in height and a similar reach. And once again, here is the veteran voice of the octagon, Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas, it's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 261 pounds. Fighting out of Uniondale, New York, bad intention. And now we're producing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon Lee. Okay, protect yourself at all time, will be my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. They touch him up and we are underway. draws a guy who should do a little bit of everything. And that guy is usually the one that will have the advantage. But we know what a high-level striker is, and this guy is as high-level as we've ever seen in the UFC. One, two, three, I can go. Oh, that's a good knee to the body there by Lee. Tried to go to the body, but unable to connect. You can't break your will. Watch that strike. Beautiful counter with the jab. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice. 
nice kick landed by this gentleman. Big ball punch land. Now he gets back to range. There's no tell on that leg kick. Well, that kick landed the body beautifully placed right underneath that elbow. Let's see if he makes the adjustments now defensively to avoid opening up that midsection to further damage by that kick. Came with inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. And he caught the kick. Still unable to find that precise range with the high kick. Right hand landed. Nice one, two there. Just out of range with that strike. Oh! have expired in our opening round. Beautiful kick. Big roundhouse now, just misses. Nice liver shot, Lance. Knee to the body. And he landed the right hand there. Trying to establish that jab once again. Head kick land. Relax, relax. Oh, nice knee to the body for him there. Very nice. Nice head kick. Just misses with the left hook. Looks like his leg is hurt here. You can even see him limping a little bit. Back to the left hand now, unable to connect. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this? And now they are throwing both sides with conviction. That's a good knee to the body. Can't take many of those, you better check. Timing his shots pretty well here early, DC. He's doing a great job of mixing things up, keeping busy, being very active. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Oh, nice, nice right hand. Throws the right hand there. Well, a lot of people think he might have the best jab in this division, certainly using it effectively here. I mean, one of the best jabs in the world across all combat sports. The way that it just comes out, it's beautiful. The backside hand is always at the chin. The elbows tucked to the ribs. The jab goes out, the jab comes right back to the face. It's picture-perfect technique, almost like a Tybo class or something like that. I mean, he's cutting down the size with these beautiful leg kicks. Oh, big shot lands. Oh, head kick lands. He's hurt. Oh, Superman punch. Not always easy to execute. He did so there. Try to establish that jab. Oh, beautiful head movement. Slips there. Look at how he turned his hip into that leg kick. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Well, it's one thing to have length. It's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Lee. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be, and if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. All right, DC, let's look at some of the highlights from the last round. Lot for the replay guys to choose from. Yeah, man, these guys stood on a quarter in the middle of the octagon. Take one to give one. Over and over, each guy landed, and they both landed very well over the course of that first round.
right, so he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations to him. What a jab at the... Right to the target. Let's see if his opponent can survive. I cannot believe... strike to end this fight. It landed flush. I'm not even sure the opponent wholly saw it coming, and before he could recover, the referee was in to stop the fight. So a huge knockout victory for that fighter here tonight. All right, let's take a look back at the replay. It ends up a knockout, but this was really a striking clinic from the moment they touched him. I mean, a competitive fight that one guy finally found the shot that ended the fight, but both of these warriors displayed a ton of heart one guy got the finish, but neither guy should be disappointed in their performance. All right, the decision is inside the octagon. We send it to the veteran voice. Here's Bruce Buffer. Gentlemen, referee Eve Levine is called to stop in this contest at 31 seconds of round number two. Playing the winner by knockout and intent. All right, so there he is, the man of the moment, celebrating one of the bigger knockout victories of his career. And that'd be nice sometimes with all the hard work that you guys put in when it goes down exactly the way you drew it up. A lot of people talk about doing certain things. It's harder to deliver on those promises you make for the public. Tonight, you did exactly that. Congratulations.